guys, today I will be showing you how to create this reverse balayage hairstyle. I will be teaching you a simple and easy way to get this salon inspired look all on your own. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, my hair is slightly a different color than it was in my last video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another hair tutorial for you guys. And what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to do a reverse balayage effect. So after having my hair blonde for about a week, I decided that I wanted to tone it again and do somewhat of a silver gray shade. So somehow I added a little bit too much purple to the mix that it turned my hair into a blue metallic shade. It wasn't the shade that I was going for but you know after a while it started to grow on me so I kept it. And um, you know now that it's been like a week or so after color has faded a little bit and now you can kind of see, uh, if you take a closer look at my hair here, you can kind of see a little band forming here and um, I'm not a big fan of that right now so I don't want to work with bleach again I know if I just kind of fix it up with bleach or so and tone it again everything will be even but at this point right now I don't want to apply any kind of bleach on my hair I decided after all that work of toning my hair or sorry touching up my hair with one I'm gonna darken up my roots again yes um, after all that work, I'm going to go back and do create the look that I already had. But instead, I'm going to create more of a softer looking roots as opposed to the harsh lines of the grow out. That is what I'm going to show you guys today is how to create a reverse balayage. So instead of working with the ends and creating that soft roots, I'm going to be working with the roots and just blending it in with the color that I have here. So after I do my roots, I'm going to go ahead and tone my ends a little bit again in hopes to kind of uh, get rid of the blue that is left on my hair. So to start off with my roots, I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm going to be using for my today. roots. Today, this is the product that I'm going to be using. It's vegan. Vegan. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly how to pronounce this properly. I don't know if it's vegan, 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 whatever. If you guys know how it is, please correct me. I mean, I this product has been around in my family for a while. Like my mom has been using this for many years to cover up her gray hair, and I've used it a few times before with my blonde hair when I wanted to create some low lights, and it did work just fine. And I also used it before when I wanted to darken up my roots, roots as well. So I can attest to this that this product does work. And one of the reasons why I like this product is because you don't need any peroxide or developer or anything to mix with it. All you need is some tap water. And you just put the powder and a little bit of tap water, flat your hair, and the color deposits on your hair just like normal hair color. That's why I like this product. And with the way my hair is right now, um, it's a little bit safer for me to use. So this is what I'm gonna be using on my roots today and I'm gonna get and I did mention that I'm gonna tone the ends of my hair as well so I'm gonna be using my um, Wella Charm in T18 and in 050 and I know I didn't want to use any developer or anything like that on my hair but I'm just going to try to leave it on for about five to ten minutes just to kind of get rid of the blue and a little bit I don't know the other uneven colors in here, just tone everything out. I'm just going to use a tan developer. So we'll see how that works out later. So aside from all of that, let's get started. Okay, just before I get started, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. And you probably are going to hear me say this in every one of my hair videos just because you know, um, in case I get like new viewers or anything out there, I just want to tell you guys first and foremost that I am not 
a professional at all when it comes to hair. Everything that I'm doing is again self-taught and things that I've just learned on my own. So I've been doing my own hair for many years now and it's just things that I've learned through the years. So um, again, I'm nowhere near professional. You guys are probably watching this video of mine and you're thinking like, oh yeah, this is not the right way. This is totally not the professional way of doing it. And I know that the way that I'm doing it here for you guys is again, is my way and it's like an easier way. What I'm doing here is I'm showing you the way that works for me in hopes that it'll work for you if you guys decide to do your own hair. So everything that I pretty much do on my hair it's kind of like uh, a rundown of an easier version of how to create hair dimensions or whatever you want to call it on your own hair. So take that into consideration first before watching my video. I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying comments that, you know, this is not even a reverse balayage effect. This is just root touch up or whatever. You know, I've gotten a bunch of comments saying that this is not how you cut a bob. This is not how you layer hair. I know that is not the right way, it is just my way, so I am going to tell you guys that again, that this is just the chameleon queen way of doing my hair. So this is just uh, my own experience that I want to share with you guys, so if it works for me, I want to share it with you guys in hopes that it'll work for you if you, if you guys decide to do your hair as well. So enough with that, let's get on with the coloring process. Alright, to start off, I'm going to grab my Legion hair color in the shade Dark Chestnut. And inside it comes with a little measuring container. And it just shows you how much water you're going to need depending on how much of this little product you're going to use. So I'm just going to start off by using half of the bottle. So I'm going to pour that into the bowl. So I'm going to pour the contents into the bowl. So I'm just eyeballing half of the bottle. Looks like I used about half already. A little bit more. So since I only used half of the bottle, I'm only going to use half of the water so it just says right here half so I'm just gonna pour that much water into the container and I'm going to pour that into the mix just like so slowly at a time and then just mix it up So your mixture should look something like this, not too runny, just a little bit pasty looking like this. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit. If I need more, I'm going to just add a little bit more powder and water. But um, you know, a little bit of this product goes a long way. So this might even be enough for my hair. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so before getting started, make sure that you change into a shirt, an old shirt that you don't care about. And I have my trusty hair coloring shirt as, uh, as always. So before I start by applying the color on my hair, I'm going to section my hair off. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle. So now that I am brushing my hair back, you guys can see the little uneven spots on my hair, which is why I'm going to be covering that up today. Alright, so start off by sectioning your hair straight down the middle and straight down the back as well. So then now that it's sectioned, you want to clip the hair away to one side and same with the other side. If 
If you guys want to check if the back is evenly parted, you can do that as well. But for this case, it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to be doing darkness on the roots. So, but I'm just going to check just in case. Alright, looks good to me. Make sure you wear gloves so you don't stain your hands. Um, so now what you want to do is just make sure I pin this all out of the way. And sticking out. So to start off, I'm just gonna apply the color to my roots. So I'm just going to apply it um, to the parted sections over here and going down to the back as well. And it just kind of helps separate the hair. And then after applying that, I'm going to apply a little bit around the hairline as well, just like that. If you need help with the back, again, make sure you have another set or another mirror to help you see the back of your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the color. And now I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my hairline here as well. And you want to go ahead and do the same thing to your back hairline here as well. Okay, so now to start off, I'm going to work with one section first. I'm going to do this whole one side before working on this. So the technique that I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be grabbing little small diagonal sections at the front and then just working my way this way. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a small little diagonal section like this, kind of like a V-shape, clip that back, and bring it forward, and then with a little bit of product on the brush, I'm going to take my uh, the brush on the tip part and then just apply light strokes going down so I'm only going to go as far down as the little demarcation that you see here it's going to bring it down to that and just kind of lightly feather the product in I'm just gonna take another diagonal section and I'm just gonna keep bringing that hair forward and applying it with the same technique. So when you're kind of bringing it towards the mid part of your hair, you want to just really lightly feather it because you don't want any harsh lines happening. So another reason why I'm bringing the hair uh, to the front and applying it that way as opposed to brushing it down this way is it will give you more of a natural effect with your roots. So if you're going to be applying the roots this way, you're going to have more of a harsh line. So if you say, for example, you're going to be bringing the, the, the color down like this, you're going to have somewhat of a really harsh looking grow out. So that's why I like to bring it to the front in an angle so that when you brush it all down, it just kind of has a really soft and natural effect, kind of like a balayage, again, but reversed. So just keep doing that until you get to about this section here. And then um, I'll explain to you how I'm going to do the back as well. So 
so now that we're working towards the back section I'm just gonna be doing the same exact thing so I'm just gonna still continue taking little small sections and bringing it forward until I reach the middle of my hair so again I'm just gonna be taking small sections and applying the color to the roots and I'm just gonna keep going until I have the last bit of that part brought to the front so I'm gonna keep doing that and then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and I will show you guys what it looks like after both sides are done. Now with my hair all done, well just the roots, so I just finished applying the color all over my roots and in the back as well. So now my next step is just to kind of tone this part of my hair. So I'm not going to show you the mixing process because it's pretty much the same as I did in my last video. So I'm just going to use um, a bottle of T18 and a few drops of the 050 along with the 10 volume developer. And then I'm going to come back and just do a little quick video on how I apply it on my hair and then show you what it looks like after the application and then I will come back with my hair all washed up and styled. I'm just going to go ahead and work with the bottom layers first and work my way up when applying the toner. So I'm gonna do this really fast. And just go ahead and apply the same technique to the other side of the hair. The toner is now applied to my hair, so I'm just gonna leave this on for about five to 10 minutes and I'm gonna wash it off. Um, I didn't really apply too much on my ends because my ends are already nice and silver. I was just trying to tone it to kind of get rid of that blue that I have on my hair. So hopefully, crossing my fingers, it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna leave it on again for 10 minutes and wash it out, style it, and I will show you guys the finished results hoping that it turns out how I expect it so I'll see you guys all right guys so this is the finished product of my hair and I have to say that I am really really happy with the results so as you can see up here everything looks very well blended no harsh lines or harsh demarcations if you like to call it that everything just looks pretty blended so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you the back as well just to see how it looks like there so as I turn around you can see everything is blended nicely and also you can see as well that my blue on my hair is gone so I just left the toner on my hair for about 10 minutes and washed it out and now everything is pretty much an even silver gray shade which I'm happy with so I'm just going to keep continuing washing my hair with purple shampoo and just to maintain the nice silver ashy tone as it fades out. So all in all, I am completely happy with the turnout of my hair. I'm a lot more comfortable with it now. I don't have to hide under a toque anymore. So everything is pretty much even. And with that being said, I think that this is going to be my last time that I'm going to be using any bleach on my hair. I mean, I didn't use bleach today, but prior to this, I did do my roots. But everything is more of a blended root balayage effect. I am not going to be bleaching my hair anytime soon. So now that my hair is darker on top, it's going to grow pretty uh, even. My hair has just been falling out every time I brush it. So I don't want to lose any more hair as it is. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to keep using some deep conditioning treatments on my hair to just uh, keep up with the 
you know the maintenance of it just to keep it looking healthy and feeling healthy because I, I don't want to damage it as much as it already is so this is pretty much it for a while I'm not going to touch it for a while because once it fades it's just going to fade out to a nice ash um, wand and I'm happy with that um, if anything I might just pop uh, throw a pop of color on there later on in life but that won't be too damaging because if anything, I'm just going to be adding conditioner to any color that I'm going to add to my hair. But as far as coloring it or using any kind of developer, this is it. So I'm happy now with how everything um, turned out. I hope that this video helped you guys. Um, I hope it made sense. And if you guys want to try doing your own reverse balayage on your hair, hopefully that my technique worked for you. As it is kind of like an easy way of doing it. As long as you follow the steps that I did um, everything should turn out just fine so if you like how my hair turned out go ahead and try it if you guys try it please um, let me know somehow send me a video or link it to me and show me how your hair turned out because I will be really excited to see it all right so this is about it for now I'm gonna leave it here and um, I'll see you guys in my next video all right guys bye I have to say that I'm really happy with how everything